One of the biggest breakout stars of this 2022 athletic season has been Abby Steiner from the University of Kentucky, who has made winning the 200-meter dash look like a walk in the park. For this year's indoor season, she absolutely smashed the previous American record in the indoor 200, running a time of 22.09 seconds, the second fastest time ever run in this event. However, this was just the beginning to one of the greatest collegiate sprinting campaigns that we have ever witnessed. After an undefeated indoor season in the 200 meters, Steiner continued her dominance when the outdoor season finally arrived, winning with incredible style in both the 100 and the 200, and she was able to keep winning because her top-end speed was something to behold. When she really got going into her running, her turnover was unreal. It almost looked like an engine cranking up faster and faster to super high levels of RPM. This world-class talent was ultimately realized when she won both the NCAA Championships and the U.S. National Championships in the 200, winning with times of 21.8 and 21.77 seconds, respectively. And even though this 200-meter consistency certainly places Steiner as a prime candidate to bring home a medal in this year's World Championships, she also achieved something else very special this season that is one of the most difficult challenges to ever reach in track and field. So far in 2022, Steiner's PB stand at 10.90 for the 100 and 21.77 in the 200 meters. This makes Steiner one of only 25 female athletes ever to break 22 in the 200 and to run under 11 seconds in the 100. However, if we go back to this year's SEC Outdoor Championships, she achieved something else so brilliant in this meet that it places her as one of the greatest overall sprinters to ever compete. In the women's 4x400 meter relay, Steiner received the baton in third place, about 15 meters behind the front two athletes. But with one of the fastest 400 relay splits ever, she brought the University of Kentucky all the way back to the lead with an incredible split of 48.78 seconds, which on the list of the all-time fastest relay splits in 4x4 history, this places her at number 17 all-time. And let's remember that this is not even her primary event. So if she were to focus up to the longer sprinting events, she could almost certainly run faster. Also, it is very important to remember that Steiner had already competed in three events prior to jumping into the 4x400, as she ran in the 4x100 finals, the 100m finals, and also the 200m finals, all placing second in the very competitive SEC championships. Throughout women's sprinting history, only 11 athletes have ever dipped under 11 seconds for the 100, under 22 seconds for the 200, and also under 50 seconds for the 400 meters. Now, technically, Steiner still has yet to achieve a sub-50 second clocking in the open 400, but given this epic relay split, I think she is more than capable of joining this very exclusive club of world-class sprinters. In just one racing season, Steiner has erupted as one of the most consistent and versatile sprinters in American history, but it's pretty clear that her greatest event, at least right now, is still the 200 meter dash. This 21.77 places her at number 18 on the all-time list, so heading into this year's World Championships, she has a real shot at winning a global medal. However, her competition will be intense, as she will be facing off against Sharika Jackson, Elaine thompson Hera, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, Tamara Clark, and also Favor Ophelia, who did manage to beat Abby Steiner at this year's SEC Championships. The World Championships are officially less than two weeks away, so with this very exciting race now just around the corner, I'll pass this final question off to you. How fast will Abby Steiner run this season in the World Championship Finals, and will she win a medal against the fastest athletes in the world? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.